Good afternoon, Max Life, and welcome to this special edition uh, this Saturday afternoon. And like you know, this is a special edition with uh, special guests on the show today, round two of uh, two rounds of the edition. The first one being with Ruskin Bond uh, on the 9th of Feb, and this one, the second one being with Chetan Bhagat. Um, let me introduce the iGenius Young Authors Hunt, uh, the program. Uh, the Young Authors Hunt is a unique program that celebrates, recognizes and, uh, the writing talents of your children and rewards them for this great attribute that they have. Writing is a form of talent that has immense potential and in some senses we believe in this day of internet and age, uh, this talent is not getting as much encouragement as it used to in the past and as we want it uh, to get in the future. Uh, the expert guidance of our jury panel basis, the writings that come in from your children is going to help select a set of stories and essays that are going to get published, basis the decision of the panel, and that therefore is what we will use to encourage the writing skills of your children going forward. Uh, let me therefore introduce uh, our guests for the day. On my left, we have uh, Chetan Bhagat, India's most famous author and jury member of iGenius Young Author Hunt. Uh, like you know, Chetan Bhagat is the author of six blockbuster novels at this time. And let me read them out for you. The first one was Five Point Someone, uh, the famous novel that gave us the movie Three Idiots. One Night at the Call Center that he wrote in 2005. Three Mistakes of My Life in 2008. Two States in 2009. And Revolution 2020 that he wrote in 2011. <coughs> The last one is What Young India Wants, 2012. Each of these books have sold over a million copies and therefore are blockbusters. Chetan's books have remained bestsellers since their release and have been adapted into major Bollywood films. The New York Times calls him the biggest selling English language novelist in India's history. Uh, the Time magazine has named him in the 100 most influential people in the world. Chetan writes columns for leading English and Hindi newspapers focusing on youth and national development issues. Um, I must tell you his background, Chetan quit his international investment banking career in 2009 to devote his entire time to writing and therefore make changes happen in the country. He lives in Mumbai and that has been his home for a while now with his wife Anusha, an ex-classmate from IIM Ahmedabad and his twin boys Sham and Ishan. So Chetan, welcome on to the show. Thank you. Uh, let me also introduce our other guest for the day and we are privileged to have with us Kapish Mehra, who is the Managing Director of Rupa Publications India. Rupa Publications started in 1936 and today has the largest distribution networks in the country. Rupa Publications has been awarded the Publisher of the Year in 2009. Under Kapish's dynamic leadership, Rupa has mastered the art of phenomenal sales and publish some of the India's most well-known books among them of course amongst the authors of course is Chetan so welcome Kapish onto the show and with this uh, Kapish I hand over to you to begin the interaction session with Chetan. Uh, thank you very much uh, Rupa is delighted to be a part of this entire campaign and so therefore the first question to Chetan six books eight years plus six million copies sold how does it feel? Uh, I think it still feels pretty unbelievable. I mean, I, when I started out, it was just uh, uh, when I came to the Rupa office, I still remember that day. It was just a story I had written and like many, many aspiring writers, I just wanted it published. I didn't know I was stepping onto something uh, that will transform um, the writing scene so much. And I think I am um, very fortunate because in, in a country where normally it's Bollywood actors and cricketers who get a lot of attention but not uh, people in other fields. Um, I get a lot of uh, recognition and fame uh, due to just my books and stories. And I think it's, it's very inspiring and it's very comforting for the books in general that people still care about books today. And I am part of the reason for it. Uh, I think I'm, I feel it feels incredible. 